in my previous lectures I had explained interpolation and Newton's forward and backward difference formula for doing interpolation. You can apply Newton's difference formula only if x values are equally spaced. Now I will explain another interpolation method known as Lagrange's interpolation which can be applied if x values are not equally spaced. So now suppose values of fx are given as y0, y1, y2 etc, yn at the values x0, x1, x2 etc, xn of x where x values are not necessarily equally spaced. If they are equally spaced then also we can use Lagrange's interpolation formula and the formula is given by Pnx is equal to this one. So I will explain how to write this formula. You see the first term in the numerator except x0 all other terms are there that is x minus x1 x minus x2 into x minus x3 etc up to x minus xn and in the denominator all these terms are written and all these x values are replaced by x0 x0 minus x1 x0 minus x2 like that up to x0 minus xn and multiplied by y0 plus second term while writing second term we will omit the term x1 and you have to write all other terms that is x minus x0 x minus x2 into x minus x3 up to x minus xn and in the denominator all these x terms are replaced by x1 that is x1 minus x0 x1 minus x2 x1 minus x3 etc and this term is multiplied by y1. Similarly in the third term that is plus x2 is omitted. So now x minus x0 x minus x1 into x minus x3 etc up to x minus xn and in the denominator all x are replaced by x2 and this term is multiplied by y2 plus etc. In the last term xn is omitted. So therefore you can write x minus x0 into x minus x1 up to x minus xn minus 1 and in the denominator xn minus x0 into etc xn minus xn minus 1 multiplied by yn and this can be represented in this form also l0 y0 plus l1 y1 plus etc plus ln yn l0 means that is this term this term into y0 and this is our l1 l1 into y1 plus l2 into y2 plus etc plus ln yn so this is known as lagrange's general interpolation formula suppose in a question the value for n is equal to 1 that means only x0 and xn y0 and yn y1 are given only two data points are given in that case you will get a first order polynomial as the interpolating polynomial and it is known as linear interpolation formula and if n is equal to 2 that means three data points are given in that case you will get a second degree polynomial as interpolating polynomial and it is known as quadratic interpolation formula. So what you have to understand is we can use Lagrange's interpolation formula either if x values are equally spaced or x values are not equally spaced in both cases it is applicable. Now I will explain some problems here. You see the first question calculate the linear Lagrange polynomial P1x for the values ln 9 equal to 
and ln 9.5 equal to 2.2515. Hence find a 4D value. 4D means 4 decimal places value of ln 9.3. So when you are writing the value we have to write 4 decimal places. Now then the function given in the question is ln x. Therefore you can take y equal to ln x. So y value for the function ln x when x is equal to 9 is 2.1972 and y equal to 2.2515 when x is equal to 9.5. So I can write this data in the form of a table like this. So x naught is 9 in that case y value is 2.1972 when x is equal to 9.5 y is 2.2515. So now next you write down Lagrange polynomial. So it will be a first degree polynomial that is the reason I have written P1x here. Degree will be 1 and now so only two terms are here and now while writing the terms first you omit x0 and then write x minus x1 only one term is there x minus x1 and the denominator you replace this x by x0. So x0 minus x1 multiplied by this y0 plus in the second term you just omit this x1 and then write down x minus x0 by x1 minus x0 into y1. So you can substitute all these values and simplify you will get a polynomial. This is known as interpolating polynomial. So now for evaluating ln 9.3 you just put x is equal to 9.3 in this equation and you will get the answer. Suppose in this question this polynomial is not asked. Suppose you have to find only this ln 9.3 then no need to evaluate this polynomial. What you can do is after writing this formula here instead of x you can write this 9.3 directly and then you can find out the solution. Now we consider another problem and here we have to find out quadratic polynomial for the values gamma 1 equal to 1, gamma 1.02 is equal to 0 0.9888, gamma 1.04 is equal to 0 0.9784. Here the function given in the question is gamma x. So x value when x is equal to 1 the value of the function is 1 when x is equal to 1.02 the value of the function is 0 0.9888 when x equal to 1.04 the function value is 0.9784. So I have represented it in the form of a table and now after that you have to write down the polynomial. So here three values are given. So while writing the formula you follow the pattern. First you avoid this x0, write all other terms that is x minus x1 into x minus x2 that is written here. In the denominator you replace this x terms by x0. So x0 minus x1 into x0 minus x2 into y0 and this multiply by this y0 plus and in the second term you just avoid x1 then you will get x minus x0 into x minus x2 by x1 minus x0 into x1 minus x2 multiplied by y1 plus in the last term you just avoid this x2 so you can write x minus x0 into x minus x1 in the numerator in the denominator you replace x by x2 multiply this term by y2 then you substitute all these values simplify you will get a polynomial this is known as interpolating polynomial. Now for evaluating gamma 1.01 and 1.03 you put x is equal to 1.01 you will get the answer here if you put x is equal to 1.03 you will get value for gamma 1.03. So now if in a question instead of three points some four points are given then 
you will get a third degree polynomial. So now I will show you one more problem here. You see this question determine the interpolating polynomial for the data and here x0, x1, x2, x3 up to x3 are there. So for finding this interpolating polynomial so you will get these many terms. So just avoid x0 first write down x minus x1, x minus x2, x minus x3 all other terms and in the denominator you write down x0 in place of x and multiply this whole term by y0. So this is our y0. In this case it is 2 plus second term you just avoid x1 and write all other terms x minus x0 into x minus x2 into x minus x3 and then denominator you write down and multiply by y1 plus you can write two more terms similarly. So now you write down this formula in each and every problem depending on the data points given in the question. Now I will explain one more term that is known as inverse interpolation formula. So in the previous problems and all we have found the value for y in terms of x. Now then you can find out the value for x for a given value of y that is known as inverse interpolation just opposite process that means finding x for a given value for y and you can see the similarity of the formula all x values are replaced by y and y values are replaced by x so therefore x will be equal to so you can write down from here x is equal to y minus y1 into y minus y2 etc up to y minus yn multiplied by x0 plus etc it is similar to the last problem last formula so then i will explain this one by using the one using one problem also you see this question apply lagrange's formula inversely to obtain a root of the equation fx is equal to 0 given this data. So its meaning is same as find the value of x when y equal to 0. So it is the reverse process find the value for x when y equal to 0. So write down inverse formula so then here 1 2 3 4 terms are there so then you have to write down 1, 2, 3, 4 terms in the formula. You follow the pattern for writing the formula. Then the question is to find out the value of x only. No need to find out the polynomial here. So therefore in this formula you put y equal to 0 and y1 this value y2 okay this is y1 minus 13 this is y2 y3 and uh, y naught is this one x naught this value substitute all values and here you put y equal to 0 and simplifying you will get the answer. So by using Lagrange's formula we can find out value for y for a given value of x also we can find out x for a given value of y.